many of us have been uh, working towards this day for years. Uh, personally, I started uh, nine years ago this month with my first uh, presentation to uh, environmental management as to how to save the history of K-25. Our concern has always been to find some technically and economically feasible way to save the history of this national treasure that we have here. Um, people don't realize what a contribution K-25 made. Uh, and the big contribution was not during the war, although we helped a little, helped Y-12 a little. The big contribution was in the Cold War uh, when uh, we made uh, hundreds of tons of uranium-235 for the uh, nuclear defense of the country. There are many components to the plan, but in summary, I think that there really are three primary components. The first, of course, is to dedicate the footprint of the K-25 building, and that includes the construction of a viewing tower, as well as the construction of a new facility that will be used to display authentic equipment that was used and or tested here at the site. And that includes not only the gaseous diffusion equipment, but other technologies. And it isn't a stretch uh, to, to say that uh, the, uh, the United States probably could not have won the Cold War without K-25's contribution. Uh, because the thing that uh, did it was the uh, superiority of our nuclear defense. We also provided the fuel for the first uh, submarine, the Nautilus, the first uh, power reactor shipping port. Um, our engineers figured out a way to uh, purify flu and uh, polio vaccines here at K-25. Uh, that you and I are benefiting from today. The pharmaceutical industry took it over right after we developed the liquid centrifuge. And uh, it's been a benefit. K-25 has just got a long, rich history. Um, the second primary component of the plan is the development of a history center, which will be housed in a portion of the city-owned fire station, where we plan to display artifacts, documents, photographs, oral histories, etc. It'll be a place for people to go where they can really learn about the significance of the entire site and all the work that went on here, starting with the 40s and going all the way up and through to the mid 80s. And then the third primary component of the plan is a grant that the department is going to give to the East Tennessee Preservation Alliance for the purchase and stabilization of the Alexander Inn. Now the Alexander Inn is located within the city of Oak Ridge in the town site area. And its significance really is that it was constructed at the same time as the plant was constructed. And many of the visiting scientists and dignitaries that had work out here at the site actually stayed at the Alexander Inn. If we do a good job of interpreting it, uh, we can use this framework to put together uh, a visitor experience that is both enjoyable and educational. Something that go go away and say, my goodness, that is a national treasure. <laughs>